Do you feel like you don't speak enough German? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when apologizing to someone. After watching this video, you'll be able to apologize and say what you're apologizing for. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Es tut mir leid, dass ich zu spät bin. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Once more with the English translation. Es tut mir leid, dass ich zu spät bin. I'm sorry for being late. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Don't worry about it. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, I'm sorry for reason. The pattern is, Es tut mir leid. Reason. This German sentence literally translates as, I am sorry, reason. But it means, I'm sorry for reason. For example, I'm sorry for being late. Es tut mir leid, dass ich zu spät bin. Es tut mir leid, dass ich zu spät bin. Now, how do you respond that it's okay? Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Listen to it again. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. This German sentence literally translates as Don't cause yourself any worries because of this. But it means, don't worry about it. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to apologize. Being late. Dass ich zu spät bin. Dass ich zu spät bin. Being late. Dass ich zu spät bin. Lying to you. Dass ich dich angelogen habe. Dass ich dich angelogen habe. Lying to you. Dass ich dich angelogen habe. Hurting your feelings. Dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Hurting your feelings. Dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Canceling. Dass ich absagen musste. Dass ich absagen musste. Canceling. Dass ich absagen musste. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Es tut mir leid, dass ich dich angelogen habe. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. I'm sorry for lying to you. Es tut mir leid, dass ich dich angelogen habe. Don't worry about it. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Es tut mir leid, dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Es tut mir leid, dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Don't worry about it. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Es tut mir leid, dass ich absagen musste. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. I'm sorry for canceling. Es tut mir leid, dass ich absagen musste. Don't worry about it. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'm sorry for reason?
Es tut mir leid. Reason. And how do you respond to it? Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Imagine you want to apologize because you told a lie to someone. Do you remember how to say lying to you? Dass ich dich angelogen habe. Dass ich dich angelogen habe. Say, I'm sorry for lying to you. Es tut mir leid, dass ich dich angelogen habe. Now say you're sorry for lying and respond to it. Es tut mir leid, dass ich dich angelogen habe. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Now imagine you want to apologize because you hurt someone's feelings. Do you remember how to say hurting your feelings? Dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Say, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Es tut mir leid, dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Now say, you're sorry for hurting someone's feelings and respond to it. Es tut mir leid, dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. Now, imagine you want to apologize because you canceled. Do you remember how to say canceling? Dass ich absagen musste. Dass ich absagen musste. Say, I'm sorry for canceling. Es tut mir leid, dass ich absagen musste. Now, say you're sorry for canceling and respond to it. Es tut mir leid, dass ich absagen musste. Mach dir keine Sorgen deshalb. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to apologize to someone. You are now able to apologize and forgive someone like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell your fellow learners why you'd apologize. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.